again to another studio vlog this will be the second one um uh, mini moon arts i'm annie um nice to meet you if you are just joining us for the first time um there's only one another video so you could go back and see that one first maybe um in the last one i said that we are going to be looking at a um, haul of things that I have got for doing a store which is this weekend and I don't think I'm quite ready but you know you've just got to throw yourself into these things haven't you otherwise you'll never do anything and that would be rubbish um, I'm a little bit behind this last couple of weeks has been really stressful Um, Leon's not been feeling very well he's also not been at nursery we took him out of his last nursery and he's actually doing his first full day today um he's had two warming in days and he's loved it he's just gone straight in wave bye bye that's it no tears nothing i'm so really really proud of him um and i'm really excited because i'm literally in the house by myself which is why i can speak at a proper volume today so we left the last one with me creating the signage. Um, as you can see, I've still got one that's not in a frame. Um, I was stood in a shop earlier looking at frames and going, oh, it's fine, I'll just find some that fit around the house. I don't, I don't have another one that will fit this one. <laughs> so I might have to go and, um, yeah, go back to the frames this afternoon when I go to pick Leon up from his nursery because it's in town which is really convenient um but we've got the baby wave one which is in here um and we've got the one that we did last time which is basically just saying you can pay by card which means you've got no excuse not to buy cool shiny things um which is exciting i'm really excited it's been a long time since i've done a stall um it's been a long time since i've done retail um for those of you who know me you know that i worked in uh retail for 15 years and i was management for i think seven of those but then when i was on maternity leave i got made redundant and that's what has made it possible for me to be able to start mini moon arts and start the business and do something that has been my dream for a very 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 long time pretty much my whole life i think really um and it's really exciting but it's really hard work um yeah so i've got my coffee um and i thought we'd just go through all of the stuff that we that I bought for doing the stall which is really exciting and then maybe if i can clear some space um i have tidied a lot i'm quite a messy work <laughs> um might do um like a, a setup of the table so i can have a little bit of an idea of what it's going to look like um i also need to actually finish making some stock um yeah I'm, I'm not ready but you can help me let's get ready together i'm not sure how i'm going to film this because i prefer to have a, a film on my camera on my phone sorry not on my camera um i, I film on my phone um, because i don't have a camera yet um and i prefer to have it so i don't have myself I'm not talking to myself, I'm trying to talk to the camera, so I'm talking to you, straight to you and to your eyeballs. Um, but I'm not sure I'll be able to do that with the whole because I don't know if you'll be able to see the stuff. I need to be able to see if you can see the stuff. Who knows? Okay, let's just give it a go, okay? Okay, good. Okay, I think I've worked out a way for us to be able to show you everything without you seeing the rest of the conservatory which is a bit of a mess. Got my got a little desk here. It's actually one of my shelving units and I've just moved from under the desk. So first thing I bought was some stands because I sell jewellery so I need something to display them on and I found these two absolute corkers. They're amazing. I've got them both off eBay um 
I got this one, which is like a, a triangle-y shaped thing. And it's got all these lovely holes here. So I'll be able to pop them in. And my plan is, obviously I'm gonna take multiples of things, but I'm only gonna display one of each. So I'll probably put it in, pop it in, and then have a little, my little tags hanging between the earrings mm -hmm. um, or next to the necklace or whatever it is um, and have have the price on there so that when I sell one just take it off or I can just give them a pair that's not even on display I mean yeah that's quite a good idea I should probably do that um, and I got so I got that one and I've got this one and when I ordered them, I thought they were a bit closer in colour, but it's fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about things too much. I'll just put some space between them. Um, so this one's quite snazzy. This one's got the grills for your earrings. It's got claw things for necklaces. Um, and it's got dangly things for bracelets, but I don't know if I'm going to do any bracelets. So maybe I'll use that for something different. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I quite like this. I think it's pretty cool and it folds down really well. So nice and flat when you fold it the right way, of course. That would help Rhiannon. Fold it the right way. So there's those. And what I might do is I might set them up and then just wrap them, put them in the boxes, and they're literally ready for me to just go, whoop -a! Sorted. Like, minimal effort. It's always about maximum efficiency. So, maximum impact, minimal effort. That's the way to go. So that's really cool. And these were, this one was from a company called Bino, Bino Gold Series, and they do like really cool wooden shelving, and it's all sustainable and eco y, and that makes me happy. And the whole metalwork thing really just fits in because I do wire work, I like to work with the wires. And this, I think I might maybe put the quartz stuff on here if I've got enough of it. I might put the quartz stuff on this one because. That kind of, yeah, I think that just kind of fits quite nicely. I'll see what I think about the silver with the gold. Um, yeah, so that stands for the jewellery, which is really cool. I like those a lot. Happy days. Well done, me. And then I got for, like, the prints and for just anything that's standing up. I have got... Dun, 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 how cool are these funky little things? They just fold out. They fold away and they fold out and you like you just put something on it. Um so let me find something to put on it. Just pop just pop that on there for the moment. In fact, I mean if we're not outside, I could just do that rather than getting the free. But I think I got eight of these. Yeah, I think I got eight of those. I need to decide what prints I'm going to be taking. Because um, I've got like the, I've got the little mouse and mushroom. Can you see in there? There. There. Um, little mouse and mushroom. Have a campfire. It's cute. Came out for bonfire. Um, and I've got like the endangered species range as well. So. You can't really see it because of the reflection, but that's the, the giant tortoise one is behind me. We've got the red panda, um, the tiger and a snow leopard. They're very cute. Um, they're kind of for nurseries and children's rooms. And it's to teach them about their, how beautiful and amazing all these rare creatures are. I think the next one I'm doing is going to be um, an ocelot. O ocelot? O I can never say it. They're really cute swimming dragon things. I love them so much, even though I can't say what they are. 
Oxalot, oh, oxalot, oh, I don't know. I just stopped talking now, I think. Um, so there's stands. That's really, you know, you need those, definitely. Um, I think I got those, yeah, those ones I found on Amazon. Um, a lot of the stuff I've got is from Amazon. I've got price tags. So I've got um, craft ones. They're made from recycled card and they're just little things and you just tear the white tab off and that's sticky and fold it round and I specifically wanted something like this because there's nothing worse than getting some jewellery that has got a load of sticky stuff on it because of the labelling. I mean what the heck who nobody wants that do they? Absolutely no way. No way Jose thank you very much. Um more display stuff so i got some these are uh, led lights with um i've not taken them out of the bucket yet with like leaves i just think that was really cute i like these a lot so i'll just wind those round the stands and the table and i think that just yeah because and especially because we're the the stand is in a place called paddock farm and that's it's a nursery so like a plant nursery not a baby nursery um although it does have like a little play parky bit which is really cool um so i think that ties in really nicely um and it'll just make the table look cute and festive and it'll have its little lights i like that a lot um i got some twine i got some christmasy twine see those we got those at the Yorkshire Trading Company um not for anything specific but there are some essentials that you should always take with you string scissors blue tack and you never know what you're going to use them for but they're very useful things even if it is tying your tablecloth to the table or something like that who knows you don't know what's going to happen and you don't have stuff available to you so you kind of you need to cover all eventualities, don't you? A receipt book um, for anybody who wants a written receipt. Um, I've got my card reader. So if people want a digital receipt, they just put their email address or the number in. Um, but I think you tend to find a lot of the time people buying, I mean, when I've bought craft fairs and stuff, I'm like, mm, I'm not too interested in having a receipt really i'm not that bothered i know i've spent my money on that and i'm going to enjoy it and i'm not going to be bringing it back it's also not a business expense so that's fine i just have a quick little sip of coffee in my mug that says i love chocolate which i do well, i also love coffee beautiful okay what's next gloves Fingerless gloves. Fingerless gloves with little grippy things. <laughs> so I don't drop anything. Um, they say they're men's gloves. And definitely fit my tiny little female hands. So I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know why they have to say men's, female. They're just gloves. Everybody's got hands. They're just gloves. But these are going to be perfect because they'll keep my hands warm, but they'll keep my fingers out. Um... And that means that, you know, when I'm having to do things like getting jewellery and giving things to customers, then I don't have to take my gloves off every time. Um, something that I don't have and I need to order is a plunge action um, hand sanitizer because we need to be a bit careful. Um, obviously, we're still in COVID times. I will be wearing my mask. And if we're outside, I don't think that'd be a bad thing because it means that I will have a nice, warm, slightly moist face. <laughs> and I'm fine with that. <laughs> That's not a problem. Um, but when it comes to like handling people's jewellery and stuff like that, I would rather just be able to... And if people are touching things, I would rather them do that as well. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Um, so I've got cash box everybody needs a cash box i went to get a float and had a bit of a they didn't want to give me change in the post office 
um but they did which was very nice of them um to do that sorry about that crinkly noise um it's kind of difficult where i am to get anywhere to get changed so i think that i will probably just have to hold on to this float for the rest of my life um and just to add to it when i you know get cash back from little or something like that so it's just a little key it's got a little tray for all your little coins and a box under here um so i just got a float of 50 pounds so all of my pricing i've done so that it's round numbers because i uh, no, who can be bothered with flapping about with pennies and two pennies and five p's and even 20 p's and 10 p's like no so i've just got some 10 pound notes five pound notes one pound coins and 50 p's and that should do the job really i'm i'm kind of hoping that people will be paying by card for the most part because it's more hygienic apart from anything else and right now we need to be nice and hygienic don't we um and i think most people I think most people aren't even really carrying cash about at the moment. I don't know what you think. What do you do? Are you do you carry cash about? I I haven't really had cash for since I went into shielding, and that was in March twenty twenty. I think I've had a tenner since then, something like that. So that's that's my cash part sorted, and I've got my square reader, which is really cool and you get an app on your phone um and you set up your inventory and if people are paying cash you can just put it through as cash and it works out your change for you so if you're a bit um mathematically challenged like i am that's really really helpful so then it doesn't make a fool of you so you get your little reader it's just this tiny little thing um so if anyone's paying and they need to use the chip they'll have to put it in on your device so you you know um if you're choosing a reader um you need to decide whether you're okay with people touching your phone um or your ipad or or whatever it is they're going to be touching and likelihood is though no one's going to be spending more than what they can pay with contactless so i don't think that'll really be a problem um you get a this is like a swipe one for swipe cards and it plugs into the jack on your phone so if you've got an iphone <laughs> you need to get one of those little connector things um that gives you that ability and then you just get a charger cable um which is just your your bog standard universal so i mean that's just kind of stayed in there because i've got a universal plug just plugged in um over there so that i have one readily available mostly i use it for charging my e-reader um, because i like to read before bedtime but the exciting thing that i haven't looked at for my reader is a docking station because i thought i like this but it looks a bit piddly now is it does it look professional enough um i mean what do you think I think a lot of people are quite accepting these days of this type of thing but I also think that you know there's not everybody is and you're asking people to part with their money and for your goods and I think that you it's it's your responsibility to provide the most reassuring way to do that i suppose so this is a dock for square reader and i just got this off amazon again it's really i really like the packaging for these it's really sleek it does kind of remind me of of apple packaging a little bit um, getting into it as well that's also an interesting challenge okay so what's this oh, there's a fun foamy bit i don't think i'm supposed to play with that um ooh, it's weighted 
Oh, I like that. If it's windy, it's not going to go flying anywhere, is it? Great. Okay, so. There's a lot of plastic on here. This is literally the first time I've taken it out of the box. So, oh, that's satisfying. Let's check that one off. Oh, there's a lot of it. And that one. Put that over here. I think, should we just remove the box? Let's get the box moved. And then, um, okay, so it's got some instructions. Right, so it looks like this bit comes off. I hope it does. Yes, that bit comes off. And there's another little bit of plasticky stuff there. And then you just... Sorry, I'm not doing this way. You can see it, Emma. So in this docking thing, you've got like a little charger thing at the bottom here. Just here. So it charges. This is a really cool thing. It's You see it's got a cable on it. So you can plug it into USB and it charges your, your reader which is really cool there we go so that's slotted in there and then to make it secure you just put this in the top here click click sorted oh that's so exciting look how professional it looks that's really cool i like that a lot it's really heavy though really heavy and what i don't know is if you charge it does it have a i don't know if it's got a battery inside that holds charge i need to find that out i will have a look and might let you know at some point in the future <laughs> okay stay powered all day keep your Read the charge with the attached USB cable. So that kind of suggests to me that no, it doesn't. Which, considering how heavy it is, you would think it might. So I wonder if I can just pop this back in the box and then I can just take the whole unit to the there in the box. That would be quite handy, wouldn't it? Hmm. How did that, how was it? How did it come out? <laughs> Somebody help me. I'll work it out later. You don't need to see that. Okay, so that's the money side of things taken care of. We've got a float. We've got a card reader. People can pay me. That's the important thing. Stock of being paid. Love it. Um, I got a stamp printing thing. Which is like, you can make your own stamps, which I thought was really cool. So I'm going to have some, I'll put some business cards into the bags, which I haven't got yet. Um, so I've got these, I'm probably going to do the Christmas branded ones because they won't last for much longer. So I've got these ones, which are really cute. I use them for the backing cards for my jewellery. But um, what I'm actually going to be doing is putting people's purchases into little black um, pillow boxes, um, which I've got here. Because I bought these thinking I'd be able to fit the whole thing in, but actually they're not quite big enough. So they're just plain black pillow boxes and I'll just be able to pop those in. I'll put one of these cards into the bag. I need to get the bags. I'm going to get just paper bags because we don't need more plastic in the world, do we? And I've got these stamps so that I could just quickly stamp on a thank you. Please use this code to get 10% on your next purchase. Something like that. Try and get us a little bit of return business um, to the website, um, which is Mini Moon Arts. Dot com if you're interested there will be a link to it in the description below um, so that's quite exciting and then what else have we got oh i think we might oh no that i'll, I'll save that bit till last. that's the exciting one really um my tablecloth i got a tablecloth 
and I got it's an oil cloth because you know they're easy to clean they're versatile and they're quite heavy so they're not as like it's not as likely to go flying off somewhere and take all your stock with it um oh and it's hemmed hey, look at that it's hemmed as well oh dead pleased with that very nice very nice so i just got like a gray leafy uh, so that's quite an evergreen pattern so that means that i can use it all year round and it'll be appropriate for everything it's quite a nice neutral color it's one of my favorite colors i like gray a lot you can probably tell um and it means yeah so all year round i can use this tablecloth and then i can just dress it can't i well they don't really have much in the way of christmas things for dressing for this stall but we just have to do what we can with what we've got can't we um this is all quite short notice so and this is my favorite and i've been working really hard the past few days to create some stock to put into this and it's my favorite products to make as well and it is da, 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 da. Are you gonna come out you're not coming out to play come on here we go here we go it's a ring tray and i'm really excited because i love making rings so this one is one of the ones that i've made in the last couple of days and i had it's it's on my stories on instagram at the moment you'll have missed it by now but you might have seen it um my amazing friend steph Hudson, who is also an artist, you should go and check her out. Um, she posed the question of, love the copper, but does it turn your fingers green? Which is a very valid question, isn't it? Because we don't like being green, but I've been wearing this since eight o'clock this morning, and I think we're past midday now, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve four hours and there's absolutely no greening and that is because i use um tarnish free so it's it's coated um and what that means is that a it doesn't antique it in my experience i've got rings that i made with this wire a couple of years ago and they are still this bright so it doesn't antique um so what that means is the oxygen doesn't get to the molecules and it doesn't start the oxidization process which is when it starts to go that kind of really nice dark antique color so the patinaed color um if you were treating it you would patina it um in stinky sulfur stuff um and it means that it's coated so it doesn't react to your skin and I'm busy trying to open this and I think, yeah, I've not actually flicked the thingies. So, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm really, this is lovely. I've always wanted my own ring tray. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but I've always wanted my own ring tray. Um, and now I've got one. And what we're going to do is... We're going to stop looking at my face and stop listening to me talking and rabbiting on about all sorts of random things because this is my haul. There are a couple of things that I still need to buy. So I need to buy um, some bags for the customers to take their products away. In. Um, I also need to get something to transport all my stuff. What I was thinking was, you know, those funky shopping trolley bags that have wheels what do you think that might work well, we've got a couple of suitcases but they're kind of being used for stuff um and i don't really think the wheels are kind of up to it but also i could just wang it all into a bag for now and think more about the the logistics of if i was doing a stall somewhere else that I needed to get over fields and stuff and I just didn't want to carry it all or if I had a gazebo that would be quite heavy anyway anyway you don't need to know about that I need to get some bags 
that's what I need to do. Um, and next, I'm going to show you putting rings in here, and it's going to be so cute and fun, and I love it. Okay. <laughs>